You're watching BizTech Markets. This podcast solely serves informational purposes and no content within this publication is intended to be or should be interpreted as investment advice or a suggestion to buy shares in the highlighted company. Hello and welcome to Weekend Markets. It is Friday the 5th of July, a a tumultuous day in the history of uh, Great Britain. Uh, And I'm with Steve Deacon to celebrate that. How are you today, Steve? I'm I'm very well, and I just I do admire your tenacity turning out in blue today. Um, you know, flying the colour for the um, um, yeah, I think that the could, party could be a could be a, a milkshake hit heading my way very soon. <laughs> I was I was up till three o'clock, so I could actually do with a milkshake. You know, actually, it would be it would be a good uh, it would be a good thing to. Uh, I was saying you, you sound you sound a little bit gruff, and uh, you know, look like you've got some some pores coming out of your. Is that alcohol I can see using out of your? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's actually no. It's, it's green tea. It's green tea. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yes, it, it it is now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, no, it was a very interesting day yesterday. Um, the one or two uh, points probably come to mind in in the sense that what was Rishi thinking in calling an election, and then the other point, which um, I don't think many people have pointed out, especially people like you know Carol Vorderman and other sort of you know the the. <laughs> Blondie, the, the lefty lovey people, right? You, we, we uh, yes. the, sorry, the rich lefty lovey people. Yes. We, yeah, we, you mean we, you mean hypocrites? No, no, it's just call them socialists, please. And um, <laughs> so basically, and I mean, I've got no political bias at all, right? I, I don't, you know, I'm just totally neutral. <laughs> Notwithstanding uh, the color of the shirt. Yeah, exactly. Yes, um, and and the uh, whatever I'm wearing on top of it. Uh, no, it's it's one of those things that we've literally had 14 years of, you know, Labour government. Labour policies, and people hate you know hate it so much they vote they yeah. voted Labour. Why? What's uh, the logic there? Uh, it's it's interesting, had, you know. Yeah, I'm just saying we haven't had one, but there's not one Conservative policy that I can think of that we've had apart from let's say the Brexit vote. Let's say that was a Conservative policy, but even Conservatives don't like you know they, you know eighty percent of Conservatives don't, don't like that either. So you you when when somebody hits you know keeps hitting you in the face, you say actually I want more of that and actually hit me harder. Yeah, yeah. It, it's interesting. I, I I haven't seen the numbers yet, but I saw something. I read something earlier on today that said, all in all, Labour actually haven't got that large an increase in in you know individual votes. It's actually the fact that there's been a lot of tactical voting going on. Um, and for all intents and purposes, and we know this, this is not a surprise. For all intents and purposes, you know, the Conservative Party have lost the lost the election. Labour didn't really win it. I mean, they probably did, but not as big as the numbers suggest. It was more the downfall of the Conservative Party. I guess you'd agree to that, right? Um, well, no, I think yeah, I think there was in the sense that um, it's a bit like you know because people were saying, oh, is is it like nineteen ninety seven? Is it like nineteen ninety two? Is yeah. it like nineteen forty five? Eighteen thirty five. Yeah, yeah, all that sort of stuff like that. I think the closest is probably you know nineteen forty five in the sense that you know we you know I won, we won the war. Uh, you know, I've, I've literally won the war for you. All right, you kicking me out. You know that kind of thing. So it's that sort of just doesn't matter what you do, what you say. Your time is up. You're out. You're gone, and that's it. Well, I don't know. Is, is that correct? I mean, what what would you say? Again, don't get me wrong. I'm not defending this. I, I'm a you know I'm a staunch um, conservative fan. Um, you know I'm a, a capitalist and is through and through. But but sorry, you know, do you being, really what, being conservative and being a capitalist at the moment has nothing to do with it, with, uh, with <laughs> well you know you know what I mean right? But but what what um what you know at 45 I sort of you know I sort of see the the irony you know we've won the war da, 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 and now we're going to be thrown out. But what have the Conservative Party really done in the last? You know, um, well, certainly this last term, you know, I mean, they've had multiple changes. They've had inconsistency. Uh, you know, the Brexit vote is here and there because that's that's what it was. You know, COVID was a mess. You know, parties on the lawn, all that sort of stuff. They, ju- they just, you know, they just lost. They, they lost their continuity. They lost um, the following. I mean, I mean, I mean, my son, for example, my son's, I think, 28 now. You know, he he's a staunch um, Tory through and through. He's a capitalist through and through. I know you said it's not the same, but you know, bear with me. I, so I asked him the other day, who's he going to vote for? You know, and he said, he said, I'm actually going to vote for Labour. He said, not because I'm a socialist, because I actually really hate Labour, but we have to have a change. Uh, and that to me, I mean, I, you know, I, I find that quite defeatist in him, but but in truth that, um, you know, I can see the logic, you know, that people just don't want Labour, but they don't want the Conservatives even more. So, yeah, but it just comes still comes down to that somebody's punching you in the face and you say, um, you know, I don't like it, I want to change, can you punch me in the stomach? I mean, yeah. it's, it's a change. Yeah, you know, I, I agree. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, we'll see in, in a very yeah, short the, the, time. No, the early manifesto, you were, like, you were better off 
was was the reform manifesto because at least they would say they were saying that you know you'll we'll we'll abolish the license fee so the BBC license fee so we know that we'll be 169 pounds 50 better off. All the other all the <laughs> other uh, manifestos are we're going to spend more you're going to pay, pay for it etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Why would you? But what kind of change is that? It's not a change. Well, well, again, again, it's it's an element of you know ignorance in many ways, I guess. Um, but um, but but the, the the point is is that you know if you are there being punched in the face and you have an alternative for being punched in the stomach, you'll probably be punched in the stomach, right? Yeah, okay. No, it, it, the, the the logic there is, and I, I know this. With the, the, with the way I said 1945, 1992, etc. But actually, the, for me, the real um, the real analogy is 1789. The French Revolution was like I wasn't we, there. <laughs> we just want to, you know. Well, I, I, I remember it well. And, um, yes. and th- so the logic is, we just we just can't stand you. Um, we do want to get rid of you. So it's just literally a personal yeah. attack on. So any alternative? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. No, so I, I agree. We I agree. don't like that class of people, that type of people, and we know. So it's not even. A, I don't think it's even about the policies. It's just literally about a change of people, not or a change of regime, not actually what the policies are. And the problem is, is that, you know, a lot, a lot, you know, a a very, very large number of people who voted yesterday, today, yesterday, yesterday, sorry, um, you know, will have not have experienced, certainly in any real depth, a a Labour government. Um, And we know from the past, you know, Labour governments, uh, you know, you know, uh, in in the context of being punched in the face or punched in the stomach, you know, you'd prefer to be punched in the face with the Conservative Party, right? (laughs) It's not always. What what, what, what was uh, what, what was what was Starmer's comment? What was Starmer's comment today. We're entering the. Uh, what did I wrote it down? What did he say? He says something like, "We're. Uh, uh, where is it? Hang on. Let me just tell you. Oh yeah, we are now emerging into the sunlight of hope." Really? Did you see sounds, that? Sounds like an old people's home. <laughs> It's a, it's a good name for retirement, isn't it? The sunlight of hope. No, well, it was the sunset <laughs> retirement home. Probably is, is, is the right. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, but, uh, no, no. I think it's it is it's a French Revolution thing. We're just saying we we just don't like that 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 group of people. Um, you're in you're all privileged, entitled, and you know rich, and we just you know so it's it's one of those right. It's just like the masses have said, you know, go away, can't stand you, even if uh, they'll be worse off. So I just I, well, I, Nigel, I, Nigel got in, didn't he? Nigel did uh, did uh, did walk the talk, and he got in in Clacton. Well, um, it, well, it means politics will be more interesting now. Eighth time lucky, and everything else is wonderful, really. I know. I didn't realise it was the eighth time. That's a lot of um, a lot of elections, right? That, it shows that persistence pays in life. Mind you, with the, with the last Conservative Party, you know, eight, eight, eight times, it's probably only about three years, right? So um, it probably wasn't that long. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the, the, the obviously the interesting thing would have been if, if Rishi had lost his seat as well. I mean, that would have been the... Yes. The, the, you know, that I, would have... I, I was distraught. I was absolutely distraught that Liz lost her seat. That that really sort of upset me. <laughs> but why? <laughs> it's called sarcasm. Oh, 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 oh right, okay. Seat. No, no, I was actually watching. I was watching this thing on on. Uh, well, I think it was on YouTube. It was like you know maybe it's from a Sky report or something like that. But they went, they went round to her constituency, and it was like, and, and where's Wally? Nobody could find her. <laughs> so you know they, they went around pubs and you know places the Conservative Association. Have you seen Liz? You know where is she? No, no, no she hasn't been around for a while. And she's, but, she's in one of those dark, dark dungeon clubs that only open at midnight. She's she's the uh, no, but she no, she but she's. Apparently, the official line, she's engaging in activities to help, you know, for the greater good of the party or something like that. But Is well, that right? Obviously not oh, resigning. Not, <laughs> that would not, be greater good for the party. Not, com- <laughs> not, com- not campaigning in her constituency at all. No, that that would be that. That, to be fair, that is probably the best move she's ever done. <laughs> it's not campaigning. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, well, no, I think a, an ex PM or a recent PM getting kicked out is a big deal, right? It's a big. It's it's, it's a heavy. Well, did, did Cameron save his seat? I assume he would have done because he's down in the Cotswold somewhere. But uh, um, I didn't. I haven't seen that result. I'm not sure if he got it or not. But at least he won't be foreign secretary anymore, right? Oh right, I didn't. I haven't followed. I missed that one. I missed that one. No, no. Well, well, I don't. I don't know whether he's lost his seat or not. But but, but he won't be foreign secretary. No, 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 no. He, no, he didn't. He didn't have a seat because he's, you know you make somebody a lord, which I'm obviously waiting for. Oh, of course. And therefore, yes, of you course. don't. Therefore, you don't need. Uh, you know, you you go straight to be, a, to be uh, an MP. Yes, or such, yeah. exactly. Yes. yes. Well, he won't be. But he still won't be foreign secretary because unless, unless he unless he changes uh, unless he um, comes out the closet and changes his clothes to red, <laughs> which I, I don't envisage will happen. 
Can you imagine him in Boris? Can you imagine him in Boris and the the old Etonian moving over to the um, to the dark side or the red side, I should say. I know it's it's. I think it's, as I said, it's just as I said at the beginning, it's just amazing what was the logic behind calling an election, and uh, uh, you know, in a way. Uh, with you know with Labour having such a, a great majority, you know a big majority, you know what what will they what can they do now which will be different or better than the Conservatives? Given the Conservatives have been yeah. d- doing Labour policies or you know c- carrying out Labour policies for so long. So is it more tax? Is it more wokeness? Is it bigger state? Is it more immigration? Yeah, it, that it's that kind of thing, right? So. Well, the the, the 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 irony is is that we and this is uh, this is nothing to do with you can't blame Starmer for this. Uh, it's all blame um, uh, Rishi, but you know we probably won't know. You know we'd hope to think that we know over the next sort of month or so, right? But we won't because in two weeks' time they all go on holiday for the summer recess, right? So Starmer's coming in, and then he's uh, probably nipping over to Mallorca for a couple of weeks. Well, no, no. I mean, I think uh, was it nine hours time? He'll be he'll be finished for the day. You know, six six p.m. is he's, he's he's done, right? So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know when it, whether he comes back at like Monday at nine o'clock or what his hours are, what they're going to be. I, I don't know. Well, he's meant to be going to the to to the uh, the NATO summit next week, so I'm not sure what they'll be doing if he has to clock off at six. That won't be. Uh, yeah, it's just. I mean, that was just unbelievable. But, but you know, nobody cares. If it was... I, I would I would assume that I would assume that at six o'clock this evening he'll be nipping over to. Um, uh, is it is it North Enfield and seeing his red brother uh, who did who did win today, Mister Corbyn? Uh, he did see it beat the so Cor- I, I, I missed that. So Corbyn won. Yeah, he no, he won. He 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 uh, he is he is still the lone um, lone range <laughs> <laughs> Citizen Smith, Citizen Corbyn is um it's a uh, well, no, I, I suppose you know, last week last power to the people. Yeah, last last week's uh, intro thing, which I, I didn't actually hear whether the sound came on or not. Last week's intro, no, it was rubbish. <laughs> It was, yeah, exactly. So, 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 and I think somebody thought it was me singing. So it was, um, that, it, was, was actually, it was of that quality. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was actually a recording of Jeremy Corbyn singing um, the 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 red flag. The red, the red okay, flag. Exactly. When somebody on the guitar. So uh, I just you know just for clarity. No, he he won. He he won. Uh, Galloway lost, didn't he? I think Galloway lost. He's only been MP so for like uh, three weeks, and that's it. Very disappointing. Well, he he also work. he also wears a trendy hat like you. No, he doesn't. No, no. You, you've got one extra word in there. He wears a hat, not okay. a trendy hat. There's a, yes, there's a difference. Okay. You have to one too many superlative, Mister uh, Mister Mayor. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so uh, pre- presumably, now that we'll have a you know a new government and everything else, uh, the markets will rally hard, or the FTSE will rally hard because. Well, well. See, the interesting thing is, I don't know which which stocks you want to go through because you've ignored me over the last three days. But um, but one thing I would suggest is having a look at. Um, my favourite house builders, right? Because, you know, Starmer has said as soon as he gets in, he's going to uh, affect the planning laws and, um, and in, you know, increase the opportunity for housing. So look at BDEV or something for Barrett Developments. Or yeah, he's, so he's, going to, he's going to destroy the green belt. <laughs> something like that. I think today, how are they doing? How is it doing today? BDEV up, up is it? Yes, it's I doing, thought so. It's doing, no, it's doing fine. It looks actually, it looks very, very good indeed. Obviously, there'll be yeah. uh, building here, there and everywhere. Look at look at TY as well for Taylor Wimpy. Let's have a look at those. Because I think today they would have probably gone up with a bit of a, a boost from uh, the Labour Be- win. Yeah, Beautiful, yes. And also, yeah. and also PS, but look at Persimon as well, PSN. I think PSN was showing some positive signs as well. Yeah, it's all very similar. Actually, yeah. it's all like just the last yeah. few days. You know, it's up. You know, so you so because so, I, you know, I I saw your tweet. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. I saw your tweet. Um, I think um, I think you're right. I think now there'll be a you know the the, the door will be open or the uh, the flag will be raised for an interest rate cut on the first of August. All right, yeah, we'll help you. No, they'll do no, Actually, they'll do an emergency one today. <laughs> I think they probably will. Yeah, just so, before six p.m. It's you know because it reminds me of uh, it was you know poor poor old Jimmy Carter and the Iranian hostages thing, right? So as soon as he <laughs> lost, they released the hostages. You know after like five hundred <laughs> days, and, everything. and Reagan got all the credit. You know that kind of thing. So um, yeah, we're, we're yeah, looking yeah. at that kind of thing. But uh, no, um, we we've got all the you know the the Labour you know all the the centrist you know things all the you know the Bank of England all the people I think are centrist or centre left. They're all there now. They've got their chance. Let's see how well they do. Yes, the well, yes. Let's see how well. and we shall review it each, each week. I'm sure we'll yeah, exactly. We, 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 we shall watch we the will, demise we, real time. We will mark their homework. 
So, uh, so what about so what so what about the smaller caps then? What have we got? Could I, we'll have a quick look at those, and I don't know. I know I've got I've already got I've got only one thing to say, and this is you know because okay. obviously obviously I think that I'm a a charting genius, right? I think I'm like one of them. And <laughs> I can do stuff that nobody else can do. I can there can be a, a red line on the chart, there can be a black line, there can be a purple one. But, bare, but 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 I do like I do admire the fact that you're modest about it, these skills. You don't no, no, I, I, I literally think I think I'm the best in the country at this. I've done this I've done this for, for 35 years and I live and breathe um the small caps. And you know that day, oh, this is a vact, right? This is, you know, this is my party piece, right? This was absolutely so. That day, twentieth of June, breaks through the fifty-day moving average, breaks out of that falling wedge. My initial target there was fifty-three p, so it was like, you know, it was forty-five, and I said it's going to go to fifty-three. And then the next target was sixty-three, which uh, was hit yesterday. And then yesterday, I said, well, there's a gap to fill from February at sixty-seven. It's going to go to sixty-seven, and that's what it's done. So this is like the opposite. You know what? This is like the opposite of King Canute. I mean, this is just absolutely, you can set your watch to it. It's absolutely perfect. And I haven't had one person saying, Zach, well done. I think, you know, you've you know, you really come up, you know, come up with the goods there. Well, no, I, I will. I, I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall, um, you know, doff my cap now, as it were, my trendy hat, that yeah, is. Trendy, trendy, um, yeah. My trendy hat, that is, and uh, and say very well done, Zach. But I do think, in the interest of balance, because you know we are having an election special here that we're going to release a day early. So, in the interest of balance, I think going forward, we should not only have all your triumphs, but you should also have a fair portfolio of your uh, errors, the ones you've got wrong. Don't you? No, no, I, no I'm, I'm, I think the I think the one which was which was painful was, uh, but the, but that the, but the other thing is, I say, I it's always it is couched. So I say, you know, if it breaks the fifty day moving average, if it goes back below this, then it's not going to happen, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, it's all, it's all well, you know, it's all well sort of described, yeah. let's say. But I think... Well, well, you'll, hear my ca you'll hear my caveats when we talk about Bitcoin in a moment. So, so yeah, yeah. I, no, I no, emphasize no, that no, you... No, I think, no, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But I think, you know, I think uh, Beacon Energy was one where it looked as though, to me, it looked as though the shares were, were finding a base, let's say, you know, were, you know the up to the end of uh, May, whatever it was. So they were going to go up to 0 0.08. And obviously then there was either a bad announcement or a placing and then, you know, it's blown up, right? But it's still, I mean, obviously anyone can get something wrong, but actually the difficulty is, you know, calling something right in, in, in you know, in a, in a precise way. So I, I think with the Vactor, that was absolutely, you know, bang on. And it's also a stock that many people follow. And so yes. it's actually, they'll be, you know, they'll, they'll be delighted that my call was right, which is also, you know, that's the other thing I'm trying to, you know. This, this, this would remind me, these ra they, they raised recently at 52 or something like that, wasn't it? They yeah they raised yeah they raised I think it was fifty p they raised a, a massive yeah, amount yeah. they did a helium one and they just like well let's let's yeah. let's which go are, which are flying today by the way well, helium one yeah I don't know if you noticed they're flying to well, the last couple of days um, yeah well it's approaching uh, the yes exactly so th so this was also one where I said you know the the placing was at point five p and I said that uh, above point five p they'll probably go to point eight to point nine and now the point nine one. And so, yeah. again, I think that was a useful. It was. It, I mean, it's better than just like you know, uh, taking a guess. It, it was. It was a. It was. You know, the, the the shares bounced off that support line there from uh, when where was it January, and um, I said that you know point yeah, point eight to point nine. It's obviously done that today, and above that resistance line there at point nine, they they could go up to one point three five p. So that's the next. That's the next stage, right? And so I yeah, do, which was strong, which, which, which was strong resistance after their jump was yeah, exactly. Uh, so I mean, there's a, yeah, the, the initial time it's a bit actually it's a bit like a factor as well actually, but uh, very you know similar in that sort of you know the gap down and then the consolidation. Um, but the, the the initial target there would be the uh, the top of the gap there, the June one one point zero three pence. So we've got a little bit, you know, maybe ten percent upside from here. Um, but you know, the charting, uh, the charting when it works, it is. You know, there's nothing better than that. Obviously, I mean, it's just. But sometimes you can look at a chart and you just say, well, I don't really see anything. You know, there's no sort of pattern. There's no no, yeah. no rhyme yeah. or reason. But so, but other times you just you see the same. You know, so this is like an evac to turnaround, right? Helium one is like an evac to turnaround. It's a massively followed stock as well, and so we've had a similar um, aftermath to the placing. So people, you know, they've taken the punch of the the placing, the uh, the, the the new shares are sort of, you know, the the, the churn has taken up, and then 
they're back up again. And it's amazing that. Well, they also they, they also released a, they also released an RNS a couple of days with an operational update. So that that fundamental news obviously combined with this helps. Yes, yes, um, exactly. Well, well, yes. I mean, I'm not sure that the the, the the update really told me very much, but you know, they they did that. But no, it's just a love. It's a loved stock, and people still believe in you know helium one that helium one's going to deliver, and you know, the the 50 million they've raised will be returned in in spades um, when the when the yeah. helium starts uh, flowing. So so there we are on that. So you better you better put up uh, you better put up Bitcoin. Yes, you better had because it's had a terrible 24, 48 hours. And what's the reason? Is it somebody dumping? Yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk you through. I'll talk you through wow. it so you can. No, see. I did actually see. Yeah. I did actually see your YouTube video, and I think you were looking. Did at you? The, yeah. Yes, I did. Well, I just saw the headline. I mean, I didn't. I don't want to listen to it. So. <laughs> but uh, the. Uh, <laughs> I, I did. I did see it, and uh, you were. I think you were saying that you know will will Bitcoin stay above fifty thousand. Well, I think I think the I think the the, the argument is, and and, I, and and this is I did two I actually did two videos, uh, but the message was, was pretty similar. Um, Fifty eight thousand up until a couple of days ago was um, was was a very strong support, not not only from a um, you know from that horizontal range uh, from the all time high, well, yeah, but the also light. the two. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it was probably like that. Like, my one, but, yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, at the moment. Well. well no. Yeah. If you, if you just if you drew if you drew a straight line of fifty eight and then a straight line at the um at that all time high, you'd see a sort of a horizontal range. But then um but then you've also got the two hundred day mo moving average was sitting around the fifty eight. So it you is. had like a confluence. Yeah. You had like a, on the daily is it a daily chart? Yeah. On yeah. the daily chart, it was it was sitting around there. So you had a sort of a you know a confluence of support with a couple of. Uh, major areas there, and, and my, my argument was that it had hit 58, um, probably two, probably three times now. Before today, um, three times um, over the last since it went above 58, and it bounced off it. So there was there was a lot of support there. Um, however, there's been some new. There's a couple of things. There's been some news over the last sort of week that um, I don't know, I don't know how much you followed this, but there's a couple of things. Mount Gox, which was one of the first ever crypto exchanges. Back in 2011, I think it started. In 2014, there was a big hack, and um, there was, oh, I think it was like 650,000 Bitcoin stolen. Um, and um, over over the years, 200,000 of them have been recovered, um, and some returned to um, to uh, to their rightful owners. Uh, and there's 142,000 remaining, and those remaining Bitcoin now have been committed by the Mt. Gox trustee to be um, delivered back to um, various owners, rightful owners, over the July to October period. So there's obviously a lot of worry in the marketplace that there's going to be an influx of, of people who, who basically are receiving coins they bought in 2014, 2013, uh, when it was probably 600 bucks or something. Um, and now we're at 60,000 and they'll be selling that. At the same time, the German government, who has seized quite a lot of um, Bitcoins from Bitcoin from uh, an illegal movie streaming site. I think it's like uh, I can't remember. I did have the number, but it's in the thousands. Uh, they they also are looking. It looks like they're looking to sell those coins at the same time. So there then again, there's a, there's an influx of supply. Now the the owner of the um, network Tron. Um, Justin Sun has um, has said that he he would negotiate with the German government to to buy those coins directly off them and take them off market. Um, so that may or may not happen. But the Mt. Gox stuff is still mounting up. So what what I think has happened, the combination of that news, combination of the fact we had the Fourth of July, very illiquid trading, um, and the the support of you know fifty eight thousand and the two hundred day amount average have just dropped. And you know the last I think probably the last twelve to eighteen hours we've seen it go from fifty eight down to. 53 something or other i think it's just i think we just saw it's just over 54 so the question is is whether it now will hold or not i, I think there's some support around the 50 market psychological uh, number as well with 50,000 so we might see that drop a bit uh, more to there um, and all the altcoins have you know have dropped massively as well so it's going to be you know it will be interesting we are still following a very similar pattern to the halving two that happened um, eight years ago, uh, where that dropped a great deal as well for different reasons. So I'm still I'm still not of the opinion that the bull run won't happen. I still think it will happen. I think we're going to have to get some market um, comforts from from the Mt. Gox stuff as we go through the next week or so, and then we might well see it start to come back up again. And um, uh, and I'm and I'm still of the opinion a hundred thousand by year end is a possibility. Uh, but you know it's been a tough day, tough sort of forty eight hours. Yeah, I suppose, but that, for, yeah, but that, that, that whole Mt. Gox thing is, is just wrong-footed the whole 
plan, right? I mean, it's, it's completely. Well, 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 it is. Well, again, I think I think one of the messages I put in in the video, you know, and, and I'm surprised you don't look even more at some of the charts in crypto land because they are so. You know, the crypto price is so Bitcoin driven. All, all coins are really driven around Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is really driven a great deal by by the charts because. You know, not a lot of people really understand the fundamentals of Bitcoin. There's a lot of retail investors in there that do follow the charts, um, and they also follow sentiment. So if there is a rumor, you know, that, for example, Mt. Gox, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know, that when people start to think it's going to go to a certain level. Now, I, I don't, I don't, you know, the trust did read some stuff about Mt. Gox and the trustee. I would expect that the trustee... Um, you know, I either will you know, he will be sensible enough, or he will be under some sort of ruling that he has to phase this supply of um, you know or return the recompense of, of bitcoins to the market, you know, over this you know four or five month period, so that there isn't such all of a sudden a big drop. But if sentiment and you know retail estimates and people are panicking and so you know and the whales are taking advantage by selling and making people to get even more scared, then it does become a self fulfilling prophecy. And until that that's comfort comes back in the market, which you know is going to take days, possibly weeks, then we're going to have a lot of volatility around this area until it comes back up again to the you know, high sixties and seventies and you know even possibly beyond. But it's a real curveball though. I mean it really is something that you you know nobody could see it coming. Well no that that see the irony is that's not true because in 21, 92, 2021, um they did return 40 odd thousand um coins and they said that you know we are going through a process of getting the right legalization for this to happen and to to um to ultimately return everything i, th I think i think i think so i think there was always an inevitability there was going to be a return it's just that some point or other that news happened which was probably two or three weeks ago the first announcement was made uh, and that's when the first dip happened and now i, I think it's a big combination of, of poor liquidity over the last sort of 48 hours 24 hours with with the us so uh, you know we may get as we go through the open today and um you know uh, through the weekend we might get a little bit of a spike up who knows right um but um but it's going to have to run its course um and and then i do think that the the reduced supply because of halving um and you know the increased adoption of bitcoin and so on will ultimately take the price back up and we'll go to where we're going to be um but it's uh but it's it's knocking a lot of traders out at the moment a lot a lot of you know a lot of people who have stop losses around the you know mid mid to low mid to high 50s and uh, i'm sure they're being hit as well yeah, no, it was, it was, it, the whole thing was a bit strange. I think from the time when, you know, it looked like, you know, I said it was like 72,000, it looked like it was ready to yeah. go. And then from literally from that point, the rug was pulled, right? It was just, it was, that was the, the turning point a few weeks ago. But, um, Anything else from you, Steve, on this election day special? Any other final? Uh, let me just have a very quick look at my notes. I think I told you about uh, all of these things. Uh, I suppose the only other thing, um, yeah, the only other thing I suppose is we've got nothing to do with this election, but of course there's another election on Sunday, right? The second round of the French election, and, uh, oh, and whether we we'll have a. That's going to be. <laughs> I'm, sure, oh. I'm, sure you're, I'm sure you're jetting off to Paris, and you'll be Thanks. sitting and having a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's Parisian cafe. <laughs> oh, it's going to be. It's going to be great that one. Yeah, the little Macron. There. <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be good. You know. So. Uh, yeah. Well, I, 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 what I read today. The, yeah. Sorry, go on, go on, go. No, no, I just think it's just, it's literally, you know, because I was saying about, you know, it's a bit of a French Revolution thing. Whoever's in power, the, you know, the, the masses just want to get rid of them, whether they're left or right, which is <laughs> in that kind of, at, that that atmosphere. So poor old Macron, right? I don't know how he managed to get in there in the first place, but, you know, he's he's looking, you know, the whole thing there is, is very, very embarrassing indeed. Yeah, so uh, so if you, if anybody's watching this, uh, you know, FX traders, then I would say watch the euro might have a little bit of a um, bump up if the right wing party get in, um, and uh, if Starmer when Starmer starts to open his mouth, we might see the pound drop again. So maybe going long euro euro pound. No, look, I think the pound happen. the pound falling is actually the the trade given the you know with the conspiracy yeah. the conspiracy theories that interest rates are going to be lowered really quickly. And it might be a bit like, you know, Labour come into power, I think in, in, in 97, when they came into power, they immediately gave uh, the Bank of England independence and like the markets went through the roof and it was really well yeah. received. And it could be the case that maybe they start off their uh, their um, uh, regime with, um, you know, a couple of interest rate cuts, you know, quick ones, because that, that's really... I, I wouldn't be surprised. That, that's the, I mean, that's the easiest, that's probably one of the few levers that there are to improve things, because, you know, having interest rates at three and a, qu three and a quarter percent above inflation is unheard of. It's just, it's just, I, yeah. you know, I don't think it's ever happened before. So um, that would be the easy win. And then, you know, we can all say how wonderful uh, Sakir is. Which obviously he is, and then and 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 again, as a party note, I keep saying to people, um, and I've said on this show a number of times, if that is the case, watch those house builders because they all go up. Yes, exactly. 
On that note, Steve Deacon from BizTech Academy and uh, various other uh, France. BizTech Markets, remember. Oh, well, why does it still say BizTech Academy on there? On your um, um, because I just haven't I haven't changed my thing on just, on Zoom. That's okay. all. All right, all right. So <laughs> BizTech Markets, uh, and I really appreciate all the videos you put out. I mean, really, I can see the effort you're putting in. Hopefully, one day I'll be <laughs> I'll put in that. Well, and hey, you know, you know, you never asked me about my members and how the members are, how many members I gathered over the. Uh, well, I'm, I'm assuming the, 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 member, I, the, the member situation is on a par with our viewers, you know, in, in terms of, uh, you know. Just, well, no, no. I mean, I, you know, I've managed to get 17, I think, 17 sign up who have watched uh, my exclusive, uh, my exclusive prem videos and uh, my little, I did a little spreadsheet suggesting its value going forward and all those sort of things. So, okay. yes, I have, and they've they've joined the Telegram channel and we're having you know lots of conversations about things. More mainly about you, to be fair. They've they're all surprised that you haven't subscribed. You you haven't you haven't joined. <laughs> I, I, get, two I, get, sides. I get it for free anyway right just I, you know I'm, I'm <laughs> speaking to the head the head man i mean this is this is the whole thing it's like being a celebrity it's fantastic <laughs> okay have a good week my friends bye-bye you're watching biz tech markets